Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog here on Angel Writer Speaks. I got some bad news for you guys and it's kind of a shitty one too. My boyfriend recently got fired from his job uh, from Cadoba on some very shitty promises but also ones that if you are in a right to work state makes sense. Now for those of you who don't know what right to work means it basically means that if a company doesn't feel that you fit their mold or they don't like you for any reason, they could fire you. In other words, it's no job security. It doesn't matter what. Which really sucks because um, a lot of people need to work. A lot of people need to make money. And yet you have this law in place that prevents them from creating a life, if you will. And it's just, and it makes them, the employee, look bad. Because they have to keep changing jobs all the time and have to come up with excuses as to why they left the job, even if they got fired or not. So, knowing that background, here's what happened with my boyfriend. He had a very busy Valentine's Day because, you know, everybody's going out to eat and whatnot. He also had a slip and fall that a few customers saw, and he was okay, but he was pretty shaken up when he got home. He had a day off. The next day, he goes on a schedule, and his manager there says who's like a 20 something year old punk says oh we don't need you you can go back home okay so he comes home he, ha he has a chance to recover he goes back in Friday not more than 15 minutes he's in there his manager basically asks him how things are going and then he says oh I've heard from several sources that you said you didn't want to do this anymore and my boyfriend's like uh oh, no, I didn't say anything like that, not even on that day we were working because we were so busy, making 2200 bucks, by the way. And he said, no, I, I don't see reason, there's nothing going on. So the manager says, okay, well, I think we're going to have to part ways for a while, which number one, which basically means you're fired, and what the fuck does that even mean, part ways for a while? Are you, like, serious? I mean, seriously, you're fired because of hearsay. No protocol, for those of us who have studied management or have been on that supervisory side, there is no write-up, no warning, no write-up, no three structure up. It's just, oh, you didn't fit the mold, we heard some bad shit, so bye, we don't want you there. Now, what sucks even more is that the person, one of the sources that told him, was one of the managers he was becoming pretty good friends with, becoming buddy-buddy with. And yeah, she basically, I think shaded him and screwed him over, which is complete bullshit and makes you want to, be, you know, basically want to hit humanity, if you will. So he called the guy, hit the manager above the one he had. The manager appreciated that. He called him the next day. The manager appreciated him, what he had to tell him. And, well, he agreed with this manager at this corporate store where they get a rotation of managers every couple of months. Now, I know. What the hell? This doesn't make any sense. Anybody that he's told this to, people go, huh? But then they say, yep, right to work state. Which I think the law should be repealed. But because of the administration we have here in Michigan and other states, they figured this is a way for, you know, for companies to make workers expendable. So if you think the government's working for you, uh-uh, they got powerful business, business lobbyists who pushed for this damn thing. And so I want to advocate for the repeal of it. And I'm planning to because I think it's complete bullshit after seeing what my boyfriend went through. And not only that, there are a couple people. He, I mean, he was one of the best workers. That's the thing. He was one of the best workers. He, um, you know, he kind of almost went above and beyond. He wanted to train to be a super, but he had to wait, which he did. And he wanted to learn things. And he gets screwed over like this. When there's another cook who, when he started, always wanted to ask to leave early because he didn't have a car and he was still trying to pull shit. And this 20-something manager that just came in about a month ago is taking him under the swing. Oh. There's something wrong there, right? Doesn't make any sense, right? Yeah. Because he didn't fit the mold. That's one of the reasons he could have gotten fired. But also another reason is while well, they heard the slip and fall and he was planning to make the incident report and they probably didn't want to deal with that, that could have been another reason. 
whatever the case, the next step is going to be to call ethics. He's going to file for unemployment, and then he's going to go finding a new job. So for those of you out there, send some good energy and prayers that he gets a new job and something that's better than what he had because he was working his ass off. He was working hard. He would come home, and if the day was really, really stressful, oh, yeah, he'd be, he'd be like on this edge, if you will. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, but I think after Ethics finds out what happens, yeah, let's just say it's, I, I see a few people falling. And they're also going to realize that their best person who also kept the place clean um, basically kept them open. And it's a corporate store. I think maybe they should change the damn corporate store to somewhere else because they don't deserve this shit. They don't deserve being corporate. Not after what my boyfriend got fired for, which is bullshit. And the bitch who basically got him, well, guess what? You know, karma's a bitch. All I have to say is karma. <laughs> so that's kind of like what's going on, guys. It's a, it's, if anything, this has inspired a couple ideas where, that I want to write about, that I want to contribute to. And like I said, I want to advocate to repeal this damn, this damn law we have where they can fire you at any time for anything because they can't, because they don't like you. And then you wonder why people can't find jobs. And then you wonder why people are not making the money like they should or the economy is going to shit. Duh, it's because of this. So anyways, that's my little vlog rant, but I wanted to do it here because... It's vlog worthy. It's a kind of an tutorial. But yeah, it's bullshit. So, in lieu of that, I hope you guys have a good day. And if you've had some similar experiences, please post down below and write them out and share. Um, if I get enough, I might do a follow-up. So, please do that. Thanks, guys.